So this morning I woke up to this video by Nico Coda, them looking back at old anonymous asexual videos and seeing if they were even worth it. A cool idea in retrospect, but I was involved, so this is why I care and here's my issue. When you yeah, yeah. I glitter on my strap, yeah don't hit bitch, don't talk to me like that. If you want dick, please give me a second, I'm taking up my lunch quick. One person who received their fair share of controversy is anonymous asexual, aka Luna Tiny. A while ago, a good number of videos were made on them, giving them criticism for, um... Well, they use they them pronouns, they make faces that are a bit too angry, the hands they draw kind of suck. They weren't judged for using they them pronouns, they were judged for the way they presented themselves and the side extremism in their comics, especially back in 2018. Now, is that petty? Yes, to some extent, but you fail to realize even a slight reason why they were judged, at least from my point of view. Now, without further ado. Yeah, I was born with the passion. Hey, that's me. Wolf Aside made two videos on Luna, and I want to talk about both of them, starting with the older one. I made three. The shitty one in 2018, a remaster in 2020, and an interview the next week. Okay, so I have a question to present to the table. Why do these people care if they're ace so bad? It's not like you get any brownie points for being asexual. Because people like to know their identity? People's identity, that involves sexuality, is often very personal to them, and not knowing can be difficult on people. What Luna is trying to do here is present and explain other possible identities to help people possibly questioning themselves better understand, and help people who may not know these identities before understand them better. I always tell people when questioning that it's important to learn every label you can be and find what fits. I don't see the inherent problem in teaching people more about asexuality. And you're completely right. Amen. Now, originally I actually agreed with this, but I actually got in contact with Luna and they explain it quite well. As you can see here, asexuality means one does not experience sexual attraction to others but can still enjoy the action of sex. Oh, but in case you couldn't get in touch with them, here's an article that explains the difference between sexual attraction and sexual desires. In case the statement was talking to me, I did get in contact with them, my good royalty. Also, I love how your only rebuttal to this is, nope, as if that debunks anything. Be way back. I can't leave. Morality. Trust me, I know exactly what you mean. People ask me if it's my gender. You're kidding. But, but, sexuality is right in the word. Well, you know that and I know that, but people don't really like to listen. Yikes. Yikes. I honestly doubt anyone's confused asexuality as being a gender. That's pretty weenus. Okay, didn't happen because I said so. Alright, alright. Alright, show your Luna Boner dog, relax. Something happen. Whoa, 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 chill out. I'm just saying we can't jump to conclusions, blah, 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 blah. I can't be bothered to read the rest of this part. Ah, so only reading a few select parts. Wolf aside sus. There is no reason for you to be targeted, because you don't fall outside of the norm. You won't go through what minority groups are experiencing. We didn't go around for... <sighs> Doesn't that bother you at all? So I'm editing this at 1 in the morning, and I just realized something that makes Wolf Aside's video look a lot worse, especially with this section here. I don't like the don't give a fuck kind of brushing it off attitude you have when Luna is trying to discuss something serious, you know, the rights of minorities and other people, um, and the lives of other people. Um, I, I don't think that it's very appropriate to have this kind of attitude with this kind of discussion. Just, just saying. Right, so you're correct. That's facts. To even have this conversation. I highly doubt for the life of me your father even said half of this stuff. Bite me. Didn't happen because I said so. Part two. That moment when something doesn't happen because you say so? Oh shit. Princess is them. Oh wait, but <laughs> some mean feminist online said men are bad, so all their points are invalid. My nigga. Chill. Yeah, hold up. <laughs> Yo. Human lives are worth less than others? That is an opinion. But I'm not saying it's right. Luna's point is that people's rights and whether or not everyone is valuable as a person shouldn't be a debate. It shouldn't be treated as the same as your opinion on a movie. The wording wasn't the best, but the point was still there. No matter how you look at it, believing one human life is worth less than another is an opinion. It isn't a debate, but it's still an opinion. No, it isn't right depending on the context, and fuck no, human life is not the same as your favorite movie. You're absolutely correct. But my first base is saying that a belief about human life is an opinion and never a fact is true. We'll shake hands later on though. That is the only point I agree with my old self on. Fortunately so. 
Now, let me get to defending myself. This video was made two years ago, and like I said in the second anonymous asexual video, I was extremely shitty, uneducated, and it wasn't even a good video. I was literally just bullying Luna in the first video. It was bad, and you can easily cherry pick points from it to respond to, like you're doing now. I was heavily inspired by Digby and shitty edge culture at the time, so it was an easy video to make. Luna was an easy target. As evil as that sounds, that was my mindset at the time. That's why so many videos were made, because Luna was an easy target for these types of YouTubers. Obviously, I have grown, which is why I remade that same video in January of this year, and this is where Nico fucks up. Well, luckily, Wolf I made a follow-up video, and it's really full of nothing. Wrong. First off, I can see you didn't even finish it, which is necessary if you're making a video essay. Unless that's a YouTube glitch in every which way, so be it. Second, it was less of a follow-up and more of an entire remake. Listen to the intro here. As a little disclaimer, I'd like to apologize for being so uneducated on asexuality in the previous video. I was younger and less mature by a long shot, and I appreciate those who let me know in a reasonable light that I was, well... Dumb. 15 months ago, I made a video on anonymous asexual that started popping heavily recently. Right here, I literally admit my faults and thank those who educated me, which, by God, you didn't even need to make yours, as half of the comments in my first non-video were literal paragraphs criticizing me, which were all correct, which is like the same shit that you said in your video. For a follow-up video, it's very empty. It's mostly just jokes and the same points from the older video. Nothing really new and interesting to talk about. And here is even somehow worse? The remake I made had no bullying, used the correct pronouns, didn't make fun of the LGBT community. It was just me looking at how they improved and making subtle jokes throughout. Nothing towards them. It was a very friendly video just made to say, hey, I'm sorry, let's try this again in a better light. Because over time, I learned to have fun and focus on entertainment than just straight up harassing somebody. It was tame. That was the point. And when you say, there was nothing interesting to talk about is quite funny to me because it seems like you just want me to be a piece of shit to them again. So no, Nico, these two videos are nothing alike. And even claiming so makes you seem a little tone deaf. All in all, the first two videos we see about Luna are filled to the brim with points that blatantly misrepresent and misunderstand their arguments. So it's a little unfair that you spend 10 minutes of this debunking my first shitty Luna video that I had already apologized for, and then look at the remake and apology for 20 seconds and go, Oh uh, yeah, it's pretty much the same. Not only this, but you fail to point out the literal interview I did with Luna, getting to know them and genuinely shining a positive light on their persona, taking away all the laughter. They were literally made in the same week and you once more fail to recognize the redemption arc and instead made me look like a piece of shit. Although, I appreciate the compliment. What if I told you these were the best videos on Luna I could find? Luna Tiny is nothing close to a villain. They're a Tumblr artist who goes a little far with their points, but they're misunderstood. Either way, they could still be criticized and reviewed. I'm glad I made the two videos this year on them to cover up for how much of a, well, basically a bigot I used to be. I don't like that word, but it's quite accurate to describe me in the past. It doesn't even feel like you're criticizing me. It feels like you're criticizing a whole different person at this point. So, Nico, or if I've been pronouncing your name wrong, I apologize. If you're gonna make a video like this, you have to make sure you cover everything, especially looking on the past. If a person has already covered up their mistakes, maybe don't talk about their mistakes again. And even then, you have to make sure you recognize slight reasons why these videos are being made, judgment aside. I think you have potential. I cannot speak on the other two videos you reviewed, but I'm speaking on mine. I understand covering my new videos and mentioning how I changed wouldn't have been as entertaining because there isn't much to cover. You just go, oh, he was pretty chill about this. There wasn't much except for some subtle jokes and uh, an attempt at a remake. So instead, you went for the oldest one that was the easiest to get at despite already being over. I understand, showing an arc isn't good content to some people, but that isn't gonna work here, honey. I wish you luck, and all love with what you have next. Just, next time, make sure you look at everything these people you make videos on are doing. You can miss a very important key detail. I love you, good night, and goodbye. Hey,